We are joined by uh, Kansas head coach Bill Self, along with senior center Hunter, Hunter Dickinson and senior guard Dewan Harris, Jr. And we'll begin with an opening statement from Coach Self. Well, obviously, we're disappointed. I, I thought the, you know, the first half was pretty much a horse contest, and both teams made shots, and pretty probably from a visual standpoint, pretty fun game to watch in the second half. You know, uh, uh, we didn't make anything, and they played lights out great, and and uh, certainly, you know, put it on us bad there the second half. But but uh, proud of our guys. You know, we we fought through a lot of stuff, and everybody's got their own story. I know, but we certainly had plenty of episodes in ours, and and uh, guys hung in there and and uh, gave it all they had. We just didn't have any any juice there in the second half. Thank you, Coach. And now we'll open up questions for our student athletes, please. Second row left, please. Hey, Henry Green, Sun Warren, Sterner World. Dewan, I'm just wondering what the, what it was like for you guys trying to stem the tide of, of that run midway through the second half. Um, we were just trying to get stops because, you know, the, the ball wasn't falling in for us in the second half, so we was just trying to get stops. You know, they was running some good offense, you know, so that's all it was. We just needed to get stops, and we, we, we fell short, so. Gary Bedore, Casey Starr. Dewan, uh, what was the mood at halftime? It was quite a shootout the first half. Uh, you know, we, we wanted to have time excited. You know, we, had, we was positive. You know, we just needed to get some stops because, you know, it was, we was, like Coach said, it was a, a shootout. So if we capitalized on uh, the defensive end, I think it would have took care of us still. But, you know, we, like I said, we missed, some, missed a lot of shots in the second half, and, that, and that's what happened. So. Had a pretty quick turnaround. Um, how was the fatigue today in the second half? Hunter, I'll have you answer that, please, first. Um, you know, you, uh, you can't really make that excuse um, because, you know, Gonzaga had to deal with the same turnaround. And so, um, you know, if, if they were good enough to be able to go out there and play two halves, um, we should have been able to do the same. Dwan? Uh, yeah, what Hunt said. You can't make no excuses, you know. You this was you, you want to play in March Madness, so this is the best tournament you'll ever play in, and you can't make excuses when you want to win basketball games late in March. So, okay, do we have any other further questions for our student athletes? Right here, front right. Davis Domestic, the Crimson. Question for Hunter: uh, Committing to Kansas on May fourth of last year, and now the year uh, wraps up here. What has this program meant to you in your time here? Yeah, um, you know, it's been. You know, I had high expectations coming in of what it was going to be like, and, you know, it was even better than I expected um, to be able to play for Coach Self, to be able to play with these guys, um, just to be able to play in Allen Fieldhouse, all that stuff. Um, you know, it was, it was something that, you know, you can, you can kind of almost dream of, you know, when you're growing up playing basketball. To be able to play on this stage for this program, you know, obviously it didn't go the way we wanted to, but, um, you know, I had a lot of fun this year, and, you know, I want to trade it uh, for the world. All right, we'll check the Zoom participants to see if there are any questions for our student athletes on Zoom. If there are, please raise, use the button, the raise hand button on the window, and we'll get you on. Okay, not seeing any. Are there any more questions for our student athletes here in the room? All right, we'll excuse our student athletes. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Congratulations on your season. And we'll now open questions for Coach Self right here. Center left. Hey, Bill. Bye, Gregorian, Kansas City Star. Um, as it was getting late in that game, did you did you find any of your thoughts turn into, for lack of a better term, the episodes and how it sort of got to this, or have you thought about that? Oh yeah, I've th I've, now I've, and I thought about it, but that that wasn't a part of the thought process at all. Vahe, uh, uh, I'll probably think about some of the things that didn't go well or didn't go right this year and some of the things that did. Uh, uh, you know, the bottom line is this, you know, we, you, our, our program over time is taking great pride in, in uh, um, being able to defend and rebound and doing things that are, are uh, important to any team winning, but it's probably been stuff that we probably excelled in over time as much as 
just about anybody has. And, and you know, it's disappointing today that there was absolutely no, no sign of being able to slow them down. Uh, uh, they were great. Uh, whenever we made mistakes, which we made many, they made us pay. And then when we didn't make mistakes, they found a way to still grab an offensive rebound or whatever and, and, and score a put back or whatever it was. But, you know, Mark's team is so good offensively. And, and, and when, you know, if you try to dissect it and say, well, what do you want to try to take away? We didn't do a good job of, of taking away strengths, but still yet at halftime, you know, uh, uh, I thought that we were in decent shape, uh, except for, you know, our, my guys were gassed. I mean, everybody knew that at the end of the first half. I mean, my guys were gassed. Uh, I, I hadn't had very many times where you take a guy out and he's setting through a three-minute timeout, and, and and I say go back in. He says I, I need a, I need a little bit more time, you know. So so I knew that we were tired there, uh, uh, and I was just hoping we had enough energy to to get to the finish line. And, and you know, I'm not going to blame it on energy, but 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 I think we played very fatigued the second half. And just sort of a, attached to that, I mean, the competitor that you are, I'm, I'm sure this, this will stick with you. But I mean, is it something you, you already feel like I got to start thinking about you know, next season, or well, you, you well, got to absorb this for a little while? Well, I think for for the last month, I've been thinking about next season. To be honest, uh, not in the moments during the game, but you know, uh, uh, you know, obviously we we played. We had eight guys on scholarship, and, 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 and we play – I mean, that were healthy there late. And, you know, injuries are part of the game, so that's not, that's not an excuse. But, but we could have done uh, a much better job as a staff uh, 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 putting more guys out there that we could play. Uh, and so that's something that I've thought about for a long time. And, and the thing, thing about it is in basketball, you know, early on – you can play through some things, but the course of a season, there's a grind that goes with it, and, and bodies get run downs, injuries occur. That's all part of it. And when you don't have as, as much firepower or as you know that, that maybe you've had in past years, it certainly showed this year. Okay, second row right. Hey, Coach Davis, Domestic the Crimson. Uh, your team had to overcome a lot of adversity to get to this spot. Uh, two players in particular come to mind, and that's two freshmen, Omarco Jackson and Johnny Furphy. They're projected to return to your program next year. How have you seen them step up in the past couple of weeks and really this year? Well, I think they've, you know, they both had good years. Johnny's year has been exceptional considering what expectations were. Omarco's year, probably hasn't been as good considering what expectations were. And, and so much of it is uh, uh, when you go into a situation, the expectations are so high that sometimes, you know, you really can't do as much as you need to to live up to those expectations. But, but uh, they both had solid years. I think, you know, Johnny probably had the, the, uh, a better year than we even imagined. But they're both, they're, they're both good prospects, and they both have a chance to be really good players. Second row, far left. Yeah, Bill, in the first half out of timeouts, you guys had some success, like stopping runs and going on runs of your own, but didn't carry over in the second half. What do you think was different about those timeouts and what followed them? I don't think the timeouts had anything to do with anything, first or second half. Uh, uh, I, what I think had a lot to do with it, you know, we missed a lot of shots second half, a lot of shots that you say, well, that's the same shots we made in the first half, but we missed a lot of shots. And the bottom line is we never got stops. I think they scored, I could be wrong, I think it's like 17, their first 21 possessions, second half. I mean, that's a recipe for disaster regardless. And so uh, uh, I don't really believe that the, the timeouts uh, 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 didn't stem the tide that you would hope they would. Uh, but the bottom line, when you, when you, when you leave a huddle, you know, you still got to go out and execute, and you got to make shots, and you got to get stops. And we just didn't do that uh, at all, at all during that. What was it? Uh, basically, from the 19-minute mark to the eight-minute mark. I mean, for you know, I don't know exactly what it was. Where it went from up four to down 22 or 23, and it seemed like it happened so fast. And and uh, you know, we needed seven or eight timeouts as opposed to just four. But unfortunately, they wouldn't grant them. 
Front left, please. Hunter uh, dislocated his shoulder about two weeks ago. What did he give you in terms of toughness the last couple of weeks in today's performance? Well, I, I thought, uh, you know, th th this is so minor, but him getting a second foul with 1.2 seconds left stumped for us because we didn't defensive rebound the ball. If, if we got the rebound, obviously that didn't happen. Uh, 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 I thought Hunt's great. His attitude, his work ethic. You know, he, he, he. Uh, uh, you know, his body was. He was able to rehab it in a way that he could return. Whereas, you know, Kevin tried and he couldn't. Uh, uh, but, but uh, I thought Hunt gave us everything he had. Uh, but that was one tired dude out there today. Uh, uh, he was exhausted. You know, after the first game. And, and uh, you know, there's no excuses, just like they said. But, but uh, there, there wasn't much recovery time for our guys. Looking back, uh, do you think the quick turnaround was disappointing? Or what is your take on having to play so early after a late game? Uh, you know, I, I'm not an expert on that. I, I, you know, of course, would we have preferred more rest? Absolutely. But, but I'm sure anybody would that, you know, gets back to the hotel at 1 a.m. and you have your dinner and then you got to flip it quick. Uh, I would have loved to have been able to practice yesterday, uh, 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 but but that wouldn't have made any difference. And when I say practice yesterday, you know, the guys were gassed. It's 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 not the 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 time's fault that we had to play 40 minutes uh, on 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 uh, Thursday in a fast-paced game. That's just the way that. You know that's just the team that we drew, and 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 we had to fight fight hard to to get the win. So there were some things that went into it that's different than people saying, well, the time. You know, Gonzaga also had the time, but they played so well they didn't get to they didn't have to stress. Uh, 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 so so I don't I don't think people in making the times where when teams play take that into consideration. Well, this team stressed and this team didn't. Uh, 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 so, you know, what, whatever time it was, you know, it was. And I, I'm sure everybody that played here today wished it was moved back a couple hours or whatever it could be. But it probably couldn't be that way because that's what they decided to do. Any more questions in the room for Coach? Okay. Thank okay. you, Coach. Appreciate Thanks. you. All right.